Hi, this is Chris and welcome to Winemaker TV. Do you like wine? Do you like cider? Do you like mead? You want to learn how to make it yourself? Well, this is the place for you. New here? Please hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you'll know when I come out with a new wine and a new video. Also, I have a, a Facebook group. If you, uh, the link will be in the description below. Please join it and so we can swap ideas, uh, build community, and Today, we'll be making a cherry cider, so stay tuned. Hi, in order to make a, a cherry cider today, we'll go over the ingredients you'll need. We're gonna be making a three gallon batch, so you'll need, I'm gonna use some cherry uh, pie filler for the cherry part. <clears throat> I'm gonna make three gallons, so I got three gallons of apple juice that has nothing in it but uh, juice and preservatives for citric acid. I got a three gallon uh, fermenting bucket and inside of it is a sanitizing solution. So we got us a sanitized three gallon fermenter and if you need your sanitizer, links will be in the description below so you can pick that up. Today we'll be adding a little bit of acid blend to it. Again, that can be had in the description below. I'm gonna add, and I got a little Fermax. This is a yeast nutrient. And also you'll need some yeast. Today I'll be using a Red Star Premier Blanc. So let's get started. Okay, step one is adding some of your juice, adding your juice to your fermenting bucket. So we're gonna add One gallon down and this uh, juice is, is pasteurized and it has so you don't have to add any Camden tablets to, and to begin with and you can save these containers and use it later as a uh, fermenting vessel too when you're making a one gallon batch. So here's gallon number three. This bucket is a three and a half gallon bucket so they'll have plenty of air room so headroom so nothing will uh, ferment and come out of the, the bucket. So that's step one down. Then we're going to, now it's time to add our acid blend. We're going to add just a little bit of this. So I'm going to add one teaspoon for, for three gallons. get this stuff open. Well, let's just do this. So one teaspoon of acid blend. All right, next up, we're gonna have our yeast nutrient. This is to kick, give our yeast a kick start to get them going. And this, you add one teaspoon per gallon. So we're gonna add three teaspoons of yeast nutrient. One, as the count would go, one, ah, ah, ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. And three, ah, ah, ah. Okay, yeast nutrient has been added. Now we'll add our cherry filling. So we're just gonna add this straight in. We're not gonna need the, uh, any sugar to bump up the, the alcohol content because this pie filling has sugar in it. And I got my trusty spoon that was in my sanitizing bucket. That's one down. 
I add adding two large pie filling cans of pie filling. Now we're going to stir it up. We're going to stir it vigorously so we can get the cherry mixed in. Also, so we can get a little bit of oxygen in there to get this uh, help get this uh, yeast kicked off when when we add the yeast. So we're going to stir, 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 stir. Good thing about ciders, they're quick and they're easy. And we are to our last step, which is to add our Red Star Premier Blanc. And we can just sprinkle that right in. Then we add our top. Then we add our airlock and we're done. So we'll be back to wrap things up. All right. And that's how you make a cherry cider. It's a three gallon batch. Ooh, and it's heavy. <laughs> Woo. So it'll take uh, seven to 10 days in a primary fermentation. Uh, then I will rack it to a secondary uh, ferment, uh, fermentation into another a three gallon fermentation vessel for a secondary rack to help clear it and stabilize it. Then after that, I'll, uh, two more weeks after that, I will bottle it and then we're going to be bottle conditioning this so it'll be a sparkling cider. And that's it. It's quick, easy, and simple. This is Chris with Winemaker TV. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and join my Facebook group. And that's all there is today.